Hello everyone, I'm Archangel and today I'm going to talk about a game called Running the Last Samurai. Before I talk fully about this game, I want to say something not related. So if you want to jump this part, just go to this timestamp on the screen. So let's continue. And what I wanted to say is that there was a comment that was left under one of my videos. I think it was the one about Emika Games. Yes, was that. Because the comment was was talking or mentioning like buying assets and things like that and how developers like technically like attack each other because of that you know something kind of petty but i couldn't read the whole comment because it was eliminated by youtube <laughs> you know how this is but the thing is that i wanted to say that because maybe i mean i don't know if that person is still watching but I don't know, what's kind of interesting what that person tried to say but it wasn't complete because I could I could see only the notification. And something similar happened to me in, an, in another YouTube channel. I left a comment and the comment was eliminated and it didn't have anything bad, you know, like bad language or anything. It was just eliminated. I didn't know why, but I don't know. I, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, you know. If anything happens to your comment, guys, it's not me. So why I think it was eliminated, maybe. I'm just like trying to imagine why. And I read again the portion that I could see because I just had the notification. And it's maybe it's because it said like paid and free. Paid and free. So I think it was basically picked up by YouTube's AI because it said paid and free in the same comment. So I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, maybe I'm reaching. But the thing is that I didn't do it. And now I'm thinking like, oh, maybe that's, that was what happened with my comment in that YouTube channel. Because the thing is that when my comment got eliminated for no reason, apparently, I thought, okay, you know, like, uh, I'm, I won't leave any other comment here. <laughs> so I don't know. I think they, those AI sometimes are like uh, just picking whatever. Right? So let's continue with the game. And let's start by saying that this game was recommended to me a lot of times. <laughs> a lot. So I didn't want to play it because it was black and white. Because it is black and white. So, you know, at the moment I was like, black and white. <laughs> Today. <laughs> And I really didn't want to play it for that. You know, I'm very visual, so I'm very visual. I know what kind of style they want to achieve, like something similar to Sumie in classic, classic Japanese style of storytelling, I would say. Uh, maybe I will add like some example on the screen. I didn't want to play it because of that. And why am I playing it? Basically because I downloaded Lord of the Rings and is a type of game that I really don't like. Uh, that is kind of like a strategy game for me. That's not that for me. That's not a strategy. So uh, I didn't want to put you know my fingers on that. So I decided let me not let me not play this uh, and just I don't know. <laughs> the game was made by the Warner Brothers, so I was expecting something else. But um, I don't know. It looks like let's so let's go back <laughs> to running uh, the last samurai the game looks very simple but at least for me was very cool like you know the mechanically i mean it's a fighting game but the game is about reflex more than anything but i found it really cool i was thinking at first like how can you play in a game just with three buttons and yes you can do it i think it's interesting how they did it and now let me talk i mean now that i settled that let me talk about the things that I like. I mean, that's the thing that I like. But anyways, other things that I liked are the voices, okay? I always like a very good voice acting. And this one is very good. It's Japanese. I must say that I got a little bit... Um, I don't know. I'm going to talk about that uh, later on. But basically about the Japanese voices, the name of the gaming, all that. I'm going to talk about that at the end. Uh, the thing is that I really liked the voice acting. Pretty cool. I That's something that I always appreciate. Other thing I liked are 
the menus and things like that they can look a little bit complicated at the beginning but it's actually pretty easy to navigate also i have to point out that at the beginning of the game i received not exactly like a warning but something like oh read this is is important it wasn't spanish so you know <laughs> i'm going to try to say basically the juice of the thing so basically they said that this game has like pain mechanics you know like if you pay you are going to advance faster in the game so that was something that i that they established at the beginning and how can i say if you don't like pay to win games uh that's pretty okay but that someone like um the fact that the company can be upfront with that i found that pretty good uh let's continue so the things that i didn't like about this game are uh, well it's basically that it's not full color even though i can get accustomed to that and for me the style looks cool uh it's something that at the beginning really pushed me away from playing it so i will say that's something negative uh, from my point of view uh so other thing that i will say it's not exactly that I don't like it, but I think it's something that I must say because it, I don't see myself playing this game for a long time because I think uh, even though the mechanic is pretty cool and is entertaining, I think that this game is not like it's not that interesting that will make me play it for a long period of time maybe that's just me maybe people will play it and find it very interesting and so the thing is that even though it has a story it's not how can i say for example the backgrounds are very similar one to another but i still think that this game is good even though it's kind of simple it's pretty good and that's why i don't know for me it was interesting when i picked it up because i was thinking in the game the lord of the ring games and I was I got disappointed <laughs> so I saw the game and it got recommended again there is something else that I wanted to mention and is that some Korean companies use like Japanese voice acting and things like that you know basically using Japanese um, how can I say language culture and things like that to basically promote their games and I'm not saying like oh you shouldn't do that and things like that but for me personally is a little bit deceiving because i first saw this game and uh when i heard the voice acting i thought that the game was japanese i got a little bit confused because um, i don't know i i was thinking like because of the name of of the company dream ocean i thought like oh maybe i should check if this company is actually japanese or something like that so at the beginning of the game i wasn't even thinking of that it was only when i heard the voice acting that i thought it was japanese so i was i got really excited yes that's something that i like because i love japanese culture so it was exciting i remember when i saw like the female character so because there are two characters there's the boy that is the default and you can change it into a girl that the name of the girl is Tomoe and I don't know when I saw the model of the of the girl you know like the drawing basically uh, I thought uh, it doesn't look it doesn't look Japanese like the style but anyways that was just me thinking I left a review for the game and when I when I left the review I thought let me check this company <laughs> And the company is actually Korean. So I'm not saying that games shouldn't do that. There's also this new game called Project Eve that was um, into a controversy because of, of like the girl was too sexy and things like that. And what's the same? It's like the game has Japanese voice acting. I may be wrong, okay? I was questioning myself, is this real Japanese? Because the models of, of the game didn't look Japanese so I thought let me investigate that and there were a lot of people also asking the same is this game Japanese is this, uh, is this game really Japanese and things like that so you know it's not it's not like oh it's bad you, you shouldn't do that I think there's nothing wrong in itself but the thing at least for me is that I feel deceived, okay? Because I'm thinking that it's a Japanese game when in reality it's not. So uh, I just wanted to say that uh, it basically tricks me. 
you know, because I get excited because it's Japanese culture and things like that. And then I think, oh, it's a company that is from Japan. And companies from Japan, I really like, you know, I really have a special place for them in my heart because I, for example, like uh, Asobimo because of that. They're actually a Japanese company. And their games, you can see the difference between a Korean game and a Japanese game, at least in their case, okay? I'm not saying all of them are like that, but the thing is that I feel deceived because I put Japanese games, you know, in a special place. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to say that. So, guys, I think, uh, you know, this game is not, like, complicated or, any or anything, but I think that if you play it, you're going to have a really good time. I really had it, and I mean, I'm still playing. I'm still playing. <laughs> so those are the things that I really wanted to say about this game. And that said, I think we see each other in another video. Maybe the next video is going to be kind of like... I want to make a Halloween special, even though there are not many people following my videos. I want to do it because it's something pretty unique that I never had like the opportunity to share. So there's going to be a Halloween special. <laughs> How silly of me. But anyways, guys, see you in another video. Have fun and thank you for watching.